My favorite surface is the suede mat board. One of the main reasons why I like it so much is because it's wonderful for doing animal fur. You can put light colors on top of dark colors. It's, it's just, it makes the fur look like it's fuzzy almost. It's just wonderful. You don't have to worry about doing a background if you're just doing a portrait. You'll see this kind of modeled look that it has here and it's really nice. A good example is a, I did a golden retriever for somebody and I didn't have to do the background. It just looked wonderful that way. Um, I'd like to show you an example of what I mean by the dark colors on top of the light colors. You can actually take, now you can't do this on any other paper. You can actually lay down a dark color. I happen to just pick up indigo blue here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the animal fur is going to have the indigo blue in it. But then you can take your white with a really sharp pencil with real, it has to be really, really sharp when you're doing it, and you can just put it right on top. You can't do that on any of your smooth papers or anything like that. When I buy my suede mat board, I always buy it from my framer. So you can do the same thing. It's not really easy to find. Um, I do have a, a online source that I do. It's called Dick Blick. You can buy that there or you can buy it from your framer. You just go in and you ask your framer to please order you a sheet. What you're going to find is sometimes it is a little pricey, but what I, the way I look at it when I'm working with my suede mat board is I think of um, what would a painter do with a canvas? The canvases are really expensive, and so is the suede, the suede mat board can also be a little bit pricey as well.